Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Haltech Q&A, where we give you the answers to the questions you ask on Facebook, YouTube, or off our email accounts. The first question today comes from Gustavo. He asks, what ECU would you recommend for a Series 4 RX7 13B Turbo? It's a 12 second streetcar with a tra occasional track use. Now, Gustav O, the unit that you'd be after is the Platinum Sport 1000 series. So it uses our full terminated harness that we set up for the Series 4 engine, or we can supply it with a patch harness to plug directly into your factory harness if the factory harness in your car is in good condition. Uh, it'll offer full closed loop boost control, idle control, it'll do your staged sequential injection, as well as allowing you to change ignition systems. So you might want to go from your factory wasted spark coils into a direct fire ignition system. Our next question comes from Cody Cubby. I have a Silvia S14 with a Platinum Sport 2000 and a Haltech harness. I am now swapping to an S15. My question is, will the S14 harness still work in my new car? Well, Cody, if you're lucky, it will. Uh, there's two different S14s. So there's an S14 Series 1, uh, known as a Zenki, and S14 Series 2, known as a Kuki. So a Series 2 and an S15 actually have the same ECU connector and a very, very similar ECU pinout. So if, you've got an S15, uh, if you're converting from an S14 Series 2 to an S15, it's a really simple pin swap. You can just email support at Haltech. We'll tell you which pins to switch around in order to get your system working. If you've got an S14 Series 1 and you're converting to an S15, uh, it's actually a different ECU connector. You'll find that the S14 Series 1 connector is quite a lot longer. It won't physically fit in, so you would need to swap your harness out. The last question for today's Haltech Q&A comes from Ross Rowe. Hi guys, I'm putting the Platinum Sport 2000 in my Holden VY Club Sport. Apart from a wiring harness, what else do I need to run a wideband O2 sensor and a flex fuel sensor? So for your VY or your LS1 powered Club Sport, uh, you're gonna need to use a dual channel wideband controller. So that'll give you two wideband sensors, one for each bank on your LS. Uh, it'll, be, it'll allow you to do closed loop O2, so feedback on the O2 sensors to tidy up the tune, um, as well as actually using those sensors to tune the engine itself when it's on the dyno or when you're doing the street tune. Uh, the flex fuel sensor will get wired directly into the ECU on a digital input, so you won't need any extra boxes. Wire it straight in, that'll allow you to do your full flex fuel tuning on your fuel and ignition. Well, that's all the questions for today. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, you guys are still here. There's more Haltech Q&A in the links below.